no secret that pornography is rampant on the internet and as parents as perhaps business leaders or IT people in our churches or schools uh, it's our responsibility to make sure that that stuff doesn't uh, get shown on the screen for people who uh, you know accidentally stumble upon it so you, as a parent we tend to think oh well my kid would never look at that or you know that's not a problem in our household or in our business we think well our, our staff are, are uh, not going to be looking at that kind of thing but the simple fact is is it's so dominant on the internet that we need to also protect against accidental uh, accidentally stumbling upon it you look at uh, you know episode 98 my wife and I were on the show uh, talking about Twitter and how as soon as you subscribe to Twitter as a service, it's a useful service, and it has its place, but you start getting bombarded with people uh, following you who say, check out my website, check out my website, and if you ever click the link, nine times out of ten, it ends up being a pornographic website. So you think about your kids, people at work, uh, people you know at church or at school who are a part of those services, and suddenly all these things are coming up on their screen, and they may not have even meant for that to happen. So on Robbie's favorites tonight, I want to look at a service called OpenDNS. You'll find it at OpenDNS.org. This is a free service that you can patch in not only to your individual computer to protect that computer, but at a deeper level, you can actually set this up at the router level. So if you've got one of these running your network, something along these lines, uh, you'll be able to actually set this device to connect through open DNS services. You'll be able to set up blocks for certain types of activity such as pornography and uh, you'll be able to actually block that behavior or that type of website from being accessible on your entire network. Doesn't matter what computer is being used whether it's wireless or uh, hardwired it just doesn't matter you're going to be able to block that. So let's check out how that works with opendns.org. Entering OpenDNS.org is actually going to resolve to OpenDNS.com and in order to start using the web content filtering and anti-phishing all you have to do is click on that button that says start using OpenDNS. It's really really easy to get set and uh, get things going because they've made it so that you know if you want to install this on your computer itself individually uh, be it Windows, Mac, mobile phones and more they say click here for information and you'll see that Linux is listed both uh, SUSE, SUSE and Ubuntu, so you'll be able to get instructions there step-by-step uh, step on how to configure OpenDNS on your Ubuntu system. In this case, we want to actually set this up so that it's going to work across our entire network, so we're going to choose our router. This is going to give us information based on the brand of router that we, uh, that we have at home. You saw me hold up a Linksys there uh, earlier, but I actually have a Motorola router uh, myself, and it's pretty straightforward to uh, configure any device. Even if your device is not listed here, all you really have to do is change the DNS settings to the information. If you go back to this first page, you'll see down at the bottom they say, "Here's the straight dope. Our name servers are, and there are the uh, NS1 and NS2 for the domain name servers." So using that information, you'll be able to configure uh, OpenDNS on absolutely any internet connective device that uses DNS. So for you, you might try clicking on router and going through and uh, go getting the step by step. So you can see that they've listed out uh, how to do this on each particular router. In my case, because I know how to use my router and because I've actually installed DDWRT on my router, this is an open source firmware, uh, what I want to do is I want to click on setup up at the top left hand side and just scroll down to my DHCP server and I'm going to set my static and uh, my static DNS for 1 and 2 to the name servers provided to me by OpenDNS. So that's the first step to setting up our router to protect our network against things like pornography. Uh, but what we need to do now, because we're on a dynamic network, be it ADSL, uh, through your phone line, be it uh, your cable modem, for example, uh, your IP address, that's the, the address that your computer uses on the internet, that changes every time you reconnect to the internet. So OpenDNS is going to not recognize you the next time that you connect. So what we need to do is we need to set it up so that OpenDNS always updates itself with our current IP address, our current information, so that it knows which settings to apply to our network. So first of all, we need to set up an account with OpenDNS. Now this is absolutely free and it's going to allow us to make uh, setting changes. So we're going to be able to actually set you know, what kind of content we want to filter and how strict we want the filtering to be. So we need to have an account in order to do that. It's nice and easy. All we have to do is get back to the OpenDNS website and then you'll see up at the top right hand side a button that says create account. So we're just going to go into there and we're going to enter a requested username. So I'll go with category 5. 
click on check, it's going to tell us if your username that you'd like to use is available. So in my case it is, so I'm able to proceed. I'm going to enter my email address, nice and easy. And a requested password. This is to be able to access your account. How did you find us? Where is category 5 in that list? We're going to have to say, I'd rather not answer. <laughs> Where are you going to use this account? I'm going to say household. And then if you want to be notified about beta features or not, in this case we're going to say, I'm not going to. I'm going to say create account. So next step, it says check your email and confirm your account. So let's log into our email account. There is an email that says, thank you for registering with OpenDNS. Click on this link to confirm your registration. And here we go. Welcome to the OpenDNS dashboard. Now feel free to look around the dashboard because there's a lot more cool features to OpenDNS than just content blocking. So in the case of this demonstration, we just want to block pornography. So we're just going to click on settings there. And it's going to warn us that we need to add a network to our account. So we need to do that first. The IP address that it sets in there, make sure that it matches the IP address listed at the top right-hand corner of your browser. In my case, it does not. So I'm going to make sure to enter it correctly. And then click on Add This Network. It's going to ask me to give a friendly name to my network. So I'm going to call this my home, in this case. And then it asks, is this a dynamic IP address? If you don't know, the answer is probably yes. That's, again, like your uh, IP address changes every time that you uh, connect to the Internet. Uh, if, however, you pay extra to get a static IP address or you know that you have a static IP address, you can uncheck that. So then you need to download the software to stay safe. In Linux, it's going to give me DD Client. If you're on Windows or another platform, it's going to give you the appropriate software. And this is what's going to keep my network safe even after my IP address changes or computers are rebooted or the firewall is rebooted. It's always going to keep that IP address up to date with OpenDNS. Now, everybody uses different platforms uh, on their computers. In my case, I've got a Windows 2000 box uh, running all the time. So I'm going to let this uh, run my OpenDNS updater. So this is the Windows client that I'm actually using here. I'm going to enter my network information. So my uh, login and password for OpenDNS. The network that I'm using is home. And then set your preferences. I want to update every, you know, however many minutes. Five minutes is fine. Start when Windows starts. And then that's really all we need to do. And then hit OK. So now our computer is going to be automatically updated by this running engine at the very bottom of my screen. This is on Windows again. And uh, the setup will be a little bit different for every platform, depending on what you're using, because the updater client is going to be different. Uh, but it works on Windows, Mac, and Unix, Linux platforms as well. And we can see that our network is all set up. So now if we hit Dashboard up at the top again, now we're going to hit Settings. And we'll see that it is going to allow us to do all different levels of protection on our computer uh, network, as well as customize those. So we can set as minimal, which is going to protect us against phishing attacks. We can set it as low, which is going to protect against pornography and phishing. So we can customize that, as you can see. And we can go in and we can set what types of websites are not going to be allowed. So adult themes, we can turn that off. If we want to block dating websites, we can turn that off. If we want to block lingerie, I mean, it gets right into it so that you can actually get in there and block specific types of websites, including pornography. Once you've saved those settings, you need to wait for a few minutes before those will actually take effect on your network. Uh, but that is a free service from OpenDNS.org, a.k.a. OpenDNS.com, as we found. Uh, and that is Robbie's favorite for this week, a free way to be able to block pornography or other um, types of things that you wouldn't want on your home network, your church network, your school network, your business network, a free way to block all that stuff at the network level. So you don't have to go around and install different clients on uh, multiple different computers. It's strictly at the, the router level so that uh, you no longer have to worry about that kind of stuff on your internal network. So check that out. It's OpenDNS.org. For Category 5 Technology TV, I'm Robbie Ferguson.